Hi, this is 3-3 three, three readings and this reading is going to be your energy update. So this is a timeless message. And it's not sign specific. So if you're watching this video, this could resonate with you. If not, it's okay. All right. Not every reading is supposed to be resonating with your, your, you know, case, whatever. Okay. Let's see where are the messages. What's the daily update? What's the daily update? Daily energy update. What is the daily energy update? What is the daily energy update? What is the energy update? Oops, okay. What is the energy update? All right, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Fool. Okay. So you guys. Hmm. All right. I feel like some of you really want a new beginning here. Okay, you're tired of past drama you're tired of somebody giving you breadcrumbs or being one put in one put out you're tired of it you're tired of something and <clears throat> basically you're tired of this instability here okay so you want a new beginning now what do you want a new beginning from is this somebody who you dealt with in the past who was very emotionally unavailable very rigid could, be, could uh, this person could have a business or in a position of authority um, but could be an Aries but what this to me seems like is this person was very emotionally um, not available for you and they were being very in and out or just not giving you what you wanted because what they were giving you was the six of Pentacles okay and what you were expecting for is this ten of Pentacles so your expectations were definitely not met here. This person disappointed you. You want a break, okay? Yeah, you gave up on somebody. I feel like you gave up on this person or whoever this is, whatever situation could be a love or a friendship, family-related situation, whatever. Apply it however you may like. But whatever situation it is, there is something that you're giving up on there is something that you're tired of. Uh, you're tired of fighting this battle and you're tired of being the victim of this person's ego, okay? They play their ego on you. <clears throat> what's, what's up with this person? Like, I don't like their behavior already. They're very sneaky and I feel like you had to give up for your own good here, right? Let's see, yeah. You're holding back. Look at that. I feel like whatever it is that you had to offer, you're holding it very close to yourself, your values, your goals, your standards. And you're not you're choosing to not give into this anymore. You're choosing to not give into this nonsense anymore. The judgment in the reverse. Um somebody who was very indecisive about you, somebody who wasn't giving you what you wanted. Okay. <clears throat> So you always wanted to bring balance in the situation. I feel like you, point blank period, you wanted more than what this person was giving you, okay? What this person was giving you was just breadcrumbs, okay? And you were not about that life. Yeah. The lovers has become the lovers in the reverse. So there was definitely a point in time where you two were really in love or dating or whatever things were good and for the longest time you were unable to let this person go why is that ten of uh, wands in the reverse what happened here why is the ten of wands in the reverse four of swords at the reverse 
All right. Could be a third party situation or just this person. I feel like somebody turned their back from you to pursue another person. Like this is this is really bad. This is like somebody cheating on you while you were here hoping for the perfect relationship. Um, and then you got to know that this person has been with another person or this person is talking to another person all this time that they've been talking to you or dating you, whatever the case may be. And they have their back turned from you to pursue this other person. Look at the two, look at the two, three, threes, like three and three. So this is definitely to me seeming like you were expecting more out of, out of this relationship, out of this situation definitely a third party situation here okay yeah look at that you're walking away you're walking away you're tired of it at this point you're definitely tired of it look at this um you're tired of this person's drama their nonsense you don't want to do this anymore. You want somebody who gives you what you want, right? Um, not this like immaturity all the time. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, wow, I just noticed. 8-8. Eight, 8-8-3-3, eight. Eight, eight, three, three. wow. There's a message in this reading. 3-3-3, three, three, three. there you go. There comes your 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Um... all right definitely walking away because i feel like for the longest time you felt trapped in this you felt like it wasn't going anywhere okay whatever the case may be lack of clarity but you kept yourself in that situation but because you were lingering on to some hope now is the time that you're deciding to walk away because you 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 have had enough and it 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 really really like takes a toll on your heart when you think that this person was indecisive about you they were being rigid towards you because they were pursuing this other person the entire time they were involved in a third party situation here okay and with you they would basically not communicate properly or take things very slow maybe you had to always make the effort to make it work you're finally wanting to let it go because you're tired of it you're expecting a new beginning here you want to break free from this toxic cycle let's see where you're headed towards okay Let's have a look. Um, for you, it's done. Maybe you want a new cycle. You want a new beginning here. You want clarity. You want the truth. You don't want anybody lying to you. And I feel like as, as far as this person comes up and talks to you with the truth or they tell you the truth, you're going to be okay. But this person never does that. They're, they're sneaky okay you're over this player like energy here like you're over this person getting over them or trying to get over them because you feel like that's the most um logical decision to make as of now let's see where you're headed towards five of pentacles feeling extremely left out by this person or have felt extremely left out by this person you're ready to change things up here. I feel like there was extreme lack of stability here with this person. Burdened. Feeling heaviness. I feel like you're trying to take it day by day. There's still heaviness on your heart. There's still like... I didn't deserve to be treated this way. Okay. There's still some heaviness. Yeah, you feel extremely betrayed here. You feel extremely betrayed and heartbroken. And I feel like for some of you things... Yeah, look at that. I was just going to say that things are not very clear as to where you will go from here. All you're hoping for is a new beginning or just break free from this toxic cycle. 
um this is just what you want or you what you what you want to do okay but right now the thoughts in your head are way too much for you to be doing that because there is a sense of like you know this person did me wrong why what did i do to deserve this i was giving my all while this person cheated on me or was dealing with another person the entire time so yeah you 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 want to move forward but you feel yeah you're feeling some type of a way which is completely fine like as long as you don't stay here for the, for a long time but i feel like if you were attached to this person for a long time it's going to take for you a longer time to get over them right yeah you're getting you're getting to know that yeah this wasn't what you expected it to be You want um, somebody to not juggle you with another person. You want a brand new beginning in love here. You don't want confusion. You want clarity in love. Let's see. What's the advice for you? What is the advice for you? What is the... Oops. Okay. What is the advice? What is the advice here? We're going to pick out romance, angel, oracles after this okay look at that look at that this person is manipulative and immature and a devil basically a player uh your advice is that if someone's being immature okay look at these two two whoa two two so we got two two three 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 and eight eight all right we got 10 a couple of times too, 10 and 10. Um, anyway, so if somebody's being immature, if they're giving you breadcrumbs, the advice for you is to really ask yourself, why are you imagining it to be this divine partnership when it's not? Okay. Yeah, you need to you need to take your love back from this person. You you need to believe in new opportunities, okay? Get over this or try to get over this. I don't know, just open yourself up to love again. And retract your love from this person. Okay, this was in the reverse. Why should they retract their love from this person? Like we already have enough answers. In order to move forward, in order to have a better basically um a better outcome out of a situation however in six to eight weeks this person's going to be contacting you six months eight months could be any time though three months as well that i see uh but in the time to come this person's going to be contacting you of course because the devil they want to know what they can get out of you again and as soon as they get what they get out of you they're going to go back to the person they left you for Oh, there's a nine. Was it there? Oh, there's a dog outside. All right. Um, nine and eight, eight, nine, six, six, six and six. Okay, there are too many uh, repeating numbers here, but this nine or so it's kind of magically appeared here. Um. Whoever brought you this anxiousness, this stress, might be communicating with you in the future. But, you know, the best thing for you to do is to try to break free what you are doing. And why to do that? So, th so that you can have, you know, a more happy, prosperous life. You can enjoy your happiness, you know, not getting it sabotaged by another person. Let's see. Let's pick a card hangman all right so you need to take a step back gain your clarity um focus on your finances goals career more because that's going to bring you a greater reward now six of ones could also mean a greater victory in terms of your work your finances go some sort of a good news okay however you need to take a step back to gain your clarity okay you might not be thinking clear right now that's what you need to do 
all right now let's have a look at the romance angel oracles for you shall we let's get a card for you your person and let's go from there let's get a card for you and then your person first card is them and then the next is their person look at that pay attention to the red flags this is what you need to do the signs are cautioning you mm -hmm. what's for their person what's for their person You saw this. You saw that it flipped out of the deck by itself. Deception. Someone's bringing a false self mask in this relationship. Who is this toxic person that you got in your feelings for? Like, you loved the wrong person here. Clearly, they rejected you several times or they took it to another level by you know not talking to you and pursuing another person here like look at that okay this is them this is what you very deceptive very 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 deceptive okay they're not even honest What's the advice? As if I didn't know that or you didn't know that throughout this reading. Release your ex. It's time to clear your energy. What does the future hold for the collective? Let go of control issues. Yeah. So you d allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, you need to take it step by step day by day in order to release the situation because of course you were attached you were in your feelings so it's not going to be like an overnight thing but what i see here is that um you need to release somebody and i feel like yeah because you were putting in a lot of work into this more than this person okay um you were trying to control the situation which of course didn't work so you need to pay attention to the red flags because there's deception Release your ex and then you get let go, let go of control issues. Codependency. Some of you are codependent on this person or feel extremely attached to the point that you cannot let them go easily. So yeah, that was your energy update. Uh, I did give you your advice. Um, pretty clear, concise messages. Who have you been dealing with? Anyway, guys, um, if you liked the reading, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon whenever you subscribe so you're notified whenever I upload. Um, give this video a like, drop your comments. Thank you so much for being here. For personals, you can check out the description. Take care and bye-bye.